grab a hard at any branch just to help keep us um, whoa upright. Right, nearly back to the gate and the top of the waterfall. Squirt, squirt, <laughs> suction, suction. Right. Right, here we are, back at the top of the waterfall. You can see where people have scrambled up there and they've got the top fence just to walk across the top. I, would have, I, I think it may be a little bit easier to walk along going back on the top fields instead of going along these uh, mud infested bloody pathways. Right, back down the stairs. You hear the rush of the water now. Powerful coming over. So there's a, a bit of an 18 inch to 2 foot drop before it goes over the top. Take your time here. So I didn't slip. Right onto the slab stones. Obviously, they've put the slab stones in here to make it easier to go down the hill because it's really slippy. Right, I need another way, so I'll stop there and look towards the waterfall while I'm having a tinkle. And I'll wipe the lens again before I set off. Fabulous stuff. So you've got the main waterfall, then you've got all those streams coming down the rocks on the other side. In the summertime, you don't see that because there's no water coming down the, the hill. It's just that it's testing the rain now, so we've got all this extra water seeping down through the, the fields from the former field. Right, have a quick tingle. You can see it's still lasting down, like, if you look underneath the tree, you see all the rain coming down. It's just that I'm under the trees, it smells bad, but it's still pissing down. You can feel the draft of the waterfall as well. It's funny how the power of the water pushing down over a waterfall brings a draft of um, air with it as well. It's like a wind blowing in your face. And that's why you get all the spray coming in your face. It looks like there's um, an old turnstile gate there that people have been coming down the, the, over the field and coming along that side. Out, out metal fencing or gates on that side.
Right, there's an open view of it. This is where I normally take the photographs from with the Nikon camera. Right, so let's get out this bloody rain, let's head back towards the, the village and jump in the car and start driving back home. I forgot to check the mileage as well. I had done 60.6 miles to park up at Hornby to go and do that waterfall. Then I've drove another, I think maybe 20 miles or so, for the park up in Gale Institute here. Maybe more than that, I don't know. Right, back down past the concrete bench seat. Right, there's loads of hidden uh, step downs, there's tree roots coming across the path so you got to watch out for them because if you put your foot on them, jump! Your foot will just go away from you and hold you straight down on your ass. All I can smell is like the smell of wind all leaving on my hands because um, yesterday when I was cleaning the car, ready for today's journey, I was um, cleaning the windows because where the dog jumps in the boot, he scrapes his nose right along the bloody glass and I can't see out of it properly. So I had to lift up the boot uh, lid and clean the windows on the lid and the side ones because he just scrapes his nose right along them as well, creating a, such a mess. <laughs> He's a bugger, bro. I love him. You've, you've got to, you've got to be a dog lover for to put up with them, with their dog smells, they're demanding your attention. They're just like big babies. Um, take them out for walks, feed them all the time. Because I mean, bear eats like a horse. He never stops. With being a big dog, so I get tins of um, butcher's dog food. And I'll grab two big handfuls of biscuits and mix it in with his, his half, half a tin in the morning and half a tin at tea time. And then he, he, um, he gets all my bits of sandwiches and in betweens and bits of bread and all kinds because he loves, he, lo he loves just a slice of dry bread. <laughs> He's a funny bugger. And then obviously when I make me porridge as well, I give him half of that. So he eats me out of house and home. Right. Through the new gate. It's probably brand new that. Same as these handrails still along here weren't there before. But obviously I'm just one of people being sliding down being hurt. So the um the council or forestry committee or whoever does it has decided alright oh, we'll go and put some handrails in safety purposes which is good right I'm just making sure I keep looking down it's pulling me jacket away from my lens so I'm record the whole journey well I'm not too bad at the moment because I'm like I say I'm in the tree so I've got the canopy protect us from heavy rain but as soon as I get out in the open fields again I'm just going to get hammered so I'll have to stop recording zip up my jacket to my neck and then just keep walking until I get to the car then breathe a sigh of relief right back to all this mud and goo you see where people have been going up there and hanging up the fence to get past this bit here so not only is it soft mud and water it's bloody tree roots underneath as well I'll just grin and bear it walk through it See the tree roots underneath, look. 
once again like i say if you put your foot on it and it slips straight down <laughs> there's loads of them hanging it under the tree look now there's these sheep sheltering from the rain so as you can see right the way along there's water comes cascading down the, the, the cliff edges on the opposite side so there's constantly water running down into the burn and it goes all the way down to hose And they, they're not um, shoddy and all these are nice and thick and they've put the big stud board through done a good job of this boardwalk hello girls are you taking shelter under the tree eh hello hello girls <laughs> it's one by itself while i'm here look anti-social He's not a typical sheep following the rest, he's, he's off on his own. There's two of them here, look, there's another one further along there now. There's another one up there. Oh, there's another one coming up to join it. So as you can see, people, it's a bit of a waterlogged, sodden uh, pathway coming along the river. But it's doable as long as you've got decent footway on. Like I say, I would suggest anybody want to do this walk, bring Wellington boots in the boot of your car and get changed into them for walking along here to do the waterfall walk. And the water cascading down there, look, it's just dropping straight into the, the river. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's flooding the bloody pathway here, now look. Water galore. And that's just dropping down there to the right. And cascading down to the, the river. Right. Oh. Got, got to keep an eye on the bloody jacket because every time I bend or move, the jacket comes out from behind and wants to go across to the left and cover the lens. Well, I'm, like I say, I'm trying to do two two things at once here. I'm trying to record the journey, but also trying to keep as dry as possible and keep the rain off me lens, so I can see where I'm recording. All right, let's have a look back and see. I always look back to see if anyone's forums are, because sometimes when they come up behind you and you're expecting me to jump with your bloody skin. When they come past and say, excuse me, you, <laughs> you jump with your skin. Right, and through the little turnstile gate here. Right, so I hope this footage has turned out this time and I've managed to get recordings. I mean, like I say, I put that brand new GoPro 12 um, battery in, brand new, so, and it's, like I say, it's got 2,250 milliampere hours, so it's got a little bit more power than the the GoPro 10 ones I bought. Storage power. So, today is just a test to see how I get on. Oh, not the best of weather for the test, like, whatever I mean. Right. So, this is what you do you just follow this pathway all the way along until you get right the far side where the path goes up the side of the hill and then you get back up on the top where you start going through the spring-loaded gates and across the three fields back to the road that's all you do, you're following the river all the way up and you're back over this broken wall and then the path starts going up through these trees here up on an angle you can hear all the water soak underneath this grass This bit slippy as hell, where I came down past that tree. Right. 
across this little stream that's running down there it's coming from all the way from up there so there's another bit of a waterfall over there coming down the side of the hill right so you can see it's a fine drizzle but it's coming down quite heavy Right, let me get my tissue up again. Oh. Right, that's the one with my keys in. Oh, yeah, man. That's it. I'm trying to keep the top of the camera dry as well so the water doesn't seep through because I haven't got a waterproof cover on it and I've got the side door off so that'll get inside and uh, wreck my camera so that's another reason why I'm trying to keep it dry as possible right, so this is where I started going up the, the hill this bit, this pathway here, look I started going up the top and then I dropped down some over those broken wooden steps that I started recording from along here and then you cross over a bit of waterfall coming down from up there on the left it's quite fast as well water's gutting down with raining this is all new fencing along here these dark posts all new in the way as well Nice uphill. Sometimes this is a pain in the ass to get up the hill. Put your one foot forward and you slip back. So through these um, slippy bits of pathway, over these bits of bowl are sticking up past these trees and then through the turnstile gate at the top there so this is what the pathway is like all the way along till you get back to the the fields where you just cross over fields that's easy that because there's no obstacles to climb over just the three um, spring loaded gates This is all slippy as well. Okay, so we'll grab a hold of bits of tree. Help us up. Right, so I think this is where those broken steps are. There's a waterfall coming down from the top left there. So there's a wooden bridge to help you get across. Because it's running down quite fast. So it's a half mile from the waterfall back to Gale, but because it's awkward, it seems one lot longer um, distance, but it's not. It's just awkward in places like this, full of bloody trip hazards and slippy moments with tree roots. Well, that banister down there is as much use as the chocolate fire guard because you can't get a hold of it too far away. It's because it's rotten and it's gone halfway down the hill anyway. Right, down here sideways. So it didn't slip. Be able to get the hold of the bottom bit. Right, that's it. 
Right, you pass this sloping tree, across the path, and then you can see the next little turnstile gate straight ahead. 75 yards on. Then I've got the steep uphill to go yet, at the far side. That goes up and round and up and round, and it's quite slippy in places as well. These stones are slippy as well because they're, they're not flat, they're rounded. Oh, wait, man. Grass just keep behind my foot there. Right, so get a hold of the tree. Help us down. Oh, the water's running down my sleeve. Oh, it's going to be very warm. Right, so as you can see, it's pissing doing the rain. Where the water's running doing like a pretty stream. Oh, I nearly went. Right, so through the walls, through the gates, to the far side, then I've got that steep. Um, embankment to get up to get on the top where the, there's two mortar posts like one's pointing straight on and the other one's pointing down the river and you can see there's a bit of another waterfall dropping down there look it's that it's that stream that's coming all the way down from up there it's belting down there this is obviously because it's raining heavy you can see it because normally you wouldn't even know that it's there. I'm very surprised that um, I've never seen any dog walkers or hikers coming along here. Because you've seen how um, spectacular that waterfall is. And even more so now that it's raining heavy. Right, so this is where the stream's coming down from up, up there. Where this abandoned barn is. This little bridge to help you get across. Right, so it's coming all the way from up there, down here, under that bridge, and just dropping down there by a waterfall, down the main river at the bottom. But you see how fast it's running? So much so that the, the landscape's giving way here, dropping into the water, 